Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. One of a pair of angles with different vertices and on opposite sides of a transversal at its intersection with two other lines. A, uh, one of a pair of angles inside the two intersected lines. Called also alternate interior angle. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Corresponding angles these are sometimes known as F angles. The diagram below shows parallel lines being intersected by another line. The two angles marked in each diagram below are called alternate angles or Z angles. They are equal. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. One way to identify alternate exterior angles is to see that they are the vertical angles of the alternate interior angles. Alternate exterior angles are equal to one another. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the resulting alternate exterior angles are congruent. Take our lead properties. These angles are congruent. Some of the angles formed on the same side of the transversal which are inside the two parallel lines is always equal to 180 degrees. In the case of non, parallel lines, alternate interior angles don't have any specific properties. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. These angles are congruent. Some of the angles formed on the same side of the transversal which are inside the two parallel lines is always equal to 180 degrees. In the case of non, parallel lines, alternate interior angles don't have any specific properties. Take our lead. The term alternate interior angles is often used when two lines are cut by a third line, a transversal. The alternate interior angles theorem states that if K and L are parallel, then the pairs of alternate interior angles are congruent. That is, 2 8 and 3 5. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.